I want every sister to pay attention to what I'm going to say now. Because this is going to help you to avoid a lot of headaches. A lot of headaches. Take pens and papers and write the following. The rulings of the Sharia, the rulings of the Sharia are only five rulings. We have only five rulings in the Sharia. Number one is the haram, the unlawful. Number two, the makruh, the disliked. Number three, the fard or obligatory. Number four, the sunnah, the recommended. Number five, the halal. We have only five rulings in Islam. Haram, group them like this. Haram, makruh. Fard, sunnah, halal. Five rulings. Now, We are talking about the layman because this is what the layman says. I am confused. I don't know what to do. A sister is confused. What the layman should do? You have two mashaykh, two scholars. One is saying this, much, this, ish, this thing is haram. Another one is saying it is makruh. Haram and makruh too. One saying haram, one saying makruh. Makruh, it means something Allah dislikes, hates. If it is haram or makruh, and I'm a layman, should I do it or leave it? Should I do it or leave it? Leave it. Because I want to be on the safe side. I don't want to have headache. Haram, makruh, leave it. Move to the third and the fourth ruling. One sheikh, one scholar is saying it is fard. Fard. Another one is saying it is sunnah. Do it or leave it. Do it or leave it. Do it. If it is fard, you are doing it. If it is sunnah, you are doing it. It is win-win situation. One scholar saying niqab is fard, another one saying niqab is sunnah. Do it or leave it? Do it. Why? If it is sunnah, you are doing it. If it is fard, you are doing it. So you are always on the safe side and no one can talk about you. And we all know, we all know the center and the focus of attraction is the face. No one should argue about this. The beauty of the woman is her face. And when you look, you look at her face. That's why the Prophet ﷺ, when the Sahabi came and he said, I have proposed to the family, this family, he said, did you see her? Did you see her? He said, no. He said, go. فَإِنَّ فِي أَعْيُنْ الْأَنصَارِ حَوَلْ Go and see your wife because they have problems with their eyes, the Ansar. Go and see your wife. Look where? In her face. See her eye. And subhanallah, the Quran forbids the woman not to hit the ground with their feet so that their anklets can make the noise. Women in the past, they were wearing anklets. So when they pass by the men, they hit so the ankle is making noise. What for? To draw men's attention. Now, which is more fitna? The ankle or the face? Think about it. The sound of the ankle or the face of a beautiful woman? Which one? Where is the fitna? I leave it to you to think about it. So Allah forbids the women not to 
move their anklets. So the best thing, my dear sisters, for you is to wear your niqab. And those who are not wearing the niqab, may Allah strengthen their iman and should start wearing it. And those who are not wearing the niqab should support their sisters, the niqabis, and should stand by them and encourage them and giving them support, not to tell them, you know, sisters, we are facing difficulties, why don't you remove your niqab? If you remove your niqab, tomorrow you will remove the hijab. Because the iman will just keep dropping. And this is how the shaitan pulls our legs. Muslims should raise the power. Should raise the power, not lowering it. They are saying no niqab. All the sisters are wearing niqab. So we raise the power so that no one can try and ask us to compromise our deen. The, more, the moment we start to compromise our deen, they will ask more and more and more. As Allah said, what do you to do for you? They wish that you compromise so you, they can compromise. That's what they want. So now, if it is haram or makruh, you leave it. If it is fard or sunnah, you do it. What remains? The fifth ruling, halal. Halal is halal. You can take your dinner or go without it. You can sleep without your dinner because it is halal. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve you and protect you, my dear sisters. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all our sisters all over the, the planet. Ameen. Barakallah feekum. Jazakumullahu khaira. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi